Actually, this lotion is a disaster, but it actually works in some type of way, though. But this lotion, God, I don't know why your YouTube creators are lying. Why are you guys lying? You guys have to tell people the truth. Almond lotion is a disaster. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking about almond super whitening lotion. This is actually almond herbal super whitening lotion. So here comes the ingredient is made with kojic acid, citric acid, almond root, papaya seed, carrot extract, aloe vera, sunscreen, and spiked ginger lily. It also contains passion root and bitter orange. Almond lotion is said to be a whitening lotion. It's said to whiten the skin as it say as implied that it whitens the skin and do a lot of things. But guys, I think this lotion is not what it is. Like a lot of people have been complaining recently after using this lotion. I would say this lotion works for some kind of skins and it work doesn't work for others. For example, this lotion doesn't work on sensitive skin. If you have a sensitive skin type, this lotion is not gonna work on you. And if you're the type of person that reacts to kojic acid, this lotion is not gonna work on you for example me myself i have a sensitive skin type and whenever i use a kojic acid product especially lotions it always make me dark so i advise you if you react to kojic acid lotions don't use if you have a sensitive skin type please don't use and a lot of you guys go as far as applying this lotion on your face and you guys complain about some but the rest of them after so i'm going to be honest on this video i'm going to be keeping it real as always this lotion is a disaster some people complain about this lotion being bad on them while some say it's good on their skin but in general like i think majority guys the food this lotion is very bad like when you're applying this lotion you have to be bear in mind that you have the chances of having stretch marks on your skin green veins and white spots all over because and some people complain that this lotion made them dark like i've seen someone actually using this lotion person was very very fair a friend of mine actually she was very very fair and when she used this lotion she was totally dark like she would have complexion went down like she was she became more dark than before you better ever buying this lotion because this lotion is very bad like very very bad so if this lotion works so you just know that you have a normal skin type or you're naturally fair this lotion is not what it is like i think the most the most toxic ingredient there is for the fact that it contains kojic acid, carrot, extract, citric acid, and the patient root. So, you guys have to watch out before buying this lotion. Almond lotion is a bleaching lotion. It bleaches your skin. It's not as if it's going to make you light, but it causes discolorations to your skin. And it causes hyperpigmentation. And it gives you stretch marks, white patches, and green veins too. So, you have to be careful while using this lotion. And if this lotion is working for you, I would advise you stay away from the sun, get a sunscreen, and apply it at night. But whichever way, I think this lotion works in a scale of 100. I think it works for like 2% or even 3 But this lotion, I've been getting bad reviews about it from my customers and friends too. So I think this lotion is not it. It's not even it. Like, it's very, very bad. So I would not advise you guys to go for this lotion if you're actually trying to lighten up without any side effects. And the next thing you all need to know about this lotion is that this lotion is not for dark skin. If you are dark skin and you try to lighten your skin, this lotion is not for you. It's not for dark skin. It's not even an option. I think it's for fair skin and light skin or even brown skin. But the thing is that it doesn't work on all skin complexion. It doesn't work on all skin type. Some say this lotion is very bad and some say it's good. But this lotion contains natural fruits and natural herbs. In as much as it contains all those things, but it's not safe for dark skin. It's not safe for sensitive skin type. And if this almond lotion is actually working for your skin type, I would advise you get a mild soap and get a sunscreen too. If it's actually working perfect on your skin type, regarding the kind of skin type you have, just make sure you use it a mild soap and make sure you always apply it at night only. So guys, that's my honest review on almond waba whitening lotion. This lotion is a no no for sensitive skin type this lotion is a no for dark skin if you have a normal skin type you are good to go but if you have a sensitive skin type or you react to kojic you might get dark you might have stretch marks you might have green veins and white spots all over and i won't even advise you to use this lotion on your face else you have a sunburn and redness on the face so that's my honest review on this lotion you guys know i love keeping it real on my channel so that's my honest review on this thank you guys for watching <laughs>